Hey, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to guide you through the process of fixing an issue that many of us have faced. When your camera is missing from the device manager in Windows 10. So if you're having trouble with your camera not showing up, you're in the right place. So, let's jump right into it. First things first. Let's check if the camera is listed in the device manager. Go ahead and open the device manager by right-clicking on the start button at the bottom left corner of the screen. And then searching for device manager. And then selecting device manager from the list. Once. You're in the device manager. You might notice that the camera section is completely missing from the list of devices. If that's the case. Don't worry. I've got a few methods to help you bring it back. Let's jump right into the first method. In the Device Manager. Click on the Action tab at the top. And then select Scan for Hardware Changes from the drop-down menu. If Scan for Hardware Changes option is not visible to your system like as my system, then you have to click on the any one of these devices. Once you select any device, then click on the Action tab at the top of the screen. And now you should see Scan for Hardware Changes option. So, just click on that option. This action prompts your system to search for any missing devices and automatically reinstall them. If your camera reappears in the device manager, then you're good to go. But if not, don't worry. There's another method you can try. If scanning for hardware changes didn't work, let's try manually installing the camera driver. Back in the Device Manager. Click on the Action tab again. But this time select Add Legacy Hardware from the drop-down. A new window will pop up. Click on the Next. Then choose the Install the Hardware that I manually select from a list, Advanced. And click Next again. In the list of hardware types. Scroll down. And select Imaging Devices. This is where your camera should be listed. After selecting Imaging Devices, click on the Next. Next. You'll be prompted to choose the manufacturer and model of your camera. If you're unsure of your camera's specifics, you can select Microsoft as the manufacturer and pick a SCSI scanner device model or you can select any other model. Once you've selected a model, click Next. And then again click Next and then finally click on the finish. The driver will install. Once the installation is complete, you will see imaging devices will appear in the list. Once it's appear, what you have to do is to just right-click on this driver that is SCSI scanner device. And then from the drop-down menu, click on the update driver. And then you will see two options. Click on the second option that says browse my computer for drivers and then click on the Let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer option. Now, under the Manufacture, and just select Generic. And in the right-hand side, under Model, just select Model Generic 1394 Desktop Camera. It is not necessary that you should select the generic manufacturer. You can select some other models also like Sony. But one thing that you to remember is that the model name that you select should have best camera in it. So like this first one that. Similarly you can select this TI also. And you can select this model also. Because this model has desktop camera a written in. So that makes sure that your camera should have desktop camera. But in my case. I will select generic. And just select this model that is generic 1394 desktop camera. Once you select it. Click on the Next. And after that, it will install. Once it's done, click on Close. And now you can see the camera device is now showing in the list of my device. And now you can just uninstall this generic 1394 desktop camera driver. To do this, right-click on it. And then click on the Uninstall device. And then click on the Uninstall to confirm. And that's it. You've successfully fixed the issue of the camera missing from the device manager in Windows 10. 
I hope this video was helpful. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tricks. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video.